Hello there. Should you watch this movie? Well, there are a lot of factors to consider, such as the director, the actors, the plot, the genre, and the movie's budget. But no one wants to go through that rabbit hole, right? So most of us base our decision off a review, a short trailer, or just by checking the movie's rating. There are a few good reasons you would want to avoid reviews or watching a trailer. First, you may want to completely avoid spoilers, no matter how small, as they bring much more information than a rating. I understand that. Second, it could be that you want an uninfluenced experience of watching that movie. This usually applies only to reviews, which are sprinkled with frames like "this is a movie about complexity of the universe" or "this is a movie really not about love." Once these frames get encoded in your short-term memory, it's really hard to stop them from interfering your own movie experience. You soon start to can't enjoy any movie or a show. Another good reason is that if you're tired or hurried, you might not want to read a review or let alone watch a two-minute trailer. So a numeric movie rating seems to be a pretty good solution in quite a few situations for quite a few people. Now you kind of understand the importance of ratings, but certainly there are numerous rating websites which give their own ratings to a particular movie or a show. So which one to choose? Many sites are either owned by a person or a site which allows its viewer to rate the movie and show them what they have given. And pretty much everybody likes an opinion of thousands of people than just one person. But out of these numerous websites, only some of them are very popular, which are IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, Metacritic, and Fandango. This video aims to recommend a single website to quickly get an accurate movie rating. For the last two, we have focused only on their iconic rating types, namely the Tomato Meter and the Meta Score. These are also shared on the other two websites. The Meta Score is shared on IMDb and the Tomato Meter on Fandango. Besides these iconic ratings, both websites also have a less featured rating type where only users get to contribute. It's a lot like this. For example, you saw a movie and you are a user of IMDb. So now you are not there for judging a movie or a show. You are there to enjoy it. So if you find the movie the best movie you have watched, you will simply give it a 10 out of 10. Or else, if you got annoyed for a bad movie, you will give zero. The rest of the number doesn't even matter to you. But there are a lot of people who are just there to know how good that movie is. They are like the person who has literally seen thousands of movie and they are just there to rate it. But this doesn't matter to you. You want to know whose opinion you can trust. So the answer is simple. Make your own criteria. Now we are not telling you to simply make your own website. Who has time for that? People generally take all ratings from these websites and take out an average, which seems to be a pretty good idea if you are someone who is watching a lot of movies and pretty much like every single genre. What you can do if you are not this person, you can simply go on to any website and whichever you like. There is no need of choosing one particular website every single time. Go check out the top rated shows or movies of every single website. See which name comes out the most. Check whether the movie genre is something you usually crave for. Then check the synopsis. That will pretty much complete it because it's not. The movie you got recommended. It's the movie you choose for yourself. I think you got what you're looking for. Well, that's it. Goodbye.